Now, I've glued in a battery pack to give the flash a bit more time. So, next job, uh, the connection to the simple sniper to the SLR. Now, this is pretty important. So, I'm going to chop this off. You can use a wire stripper if you wish. Like that. You've got three wires. If you don't like wire strippers, you can use a knife. It's a little hard. Well, we might just use side cutters. Here's the wires. Now, from the centre pin, from, the, from this one here is the common, and it connects to one of these three. The meter there, where you can see it. It's not the white. It's not the red. That's the yellow. So the yellows are common. Yep. So the yellow is the common. So if you don't connect the right one, not going to work properly. I twist them all up. So if we've got our SLR here, and we want to make sure that it's right, before we even connect, put it in the kit box. We'll turn this to voltage. Voltage, all right, we've got our meter. Plug that into our camera. And we turn it on. So, when it's plugged into the camera, the common one is the yellow. So, we put the common onto the negative, and then we measure the volts on the other two. We've got 3.3 .3 volts and 3.3 .3 volts. Now, they're both positive, so that means you've got the connections right. So if we were to short these two together, that's the focus. We short this one together, that's the picture. So the red's to take the photo and the white is to turn it on. So it basically wakes it up and focuses the lens. Okay, we want to connect this now to the simple sniper. Turn the camera off. Get it out of the way. Here's the simple sniper. Now, on there we've got all these connections. Two are commons. Let me open up the little gates. Now 
Now, if you're not sure which is which, writing's pretty small on there. You can see a little resistor goes across the two. Well, it's actually a zero, almost zero ohm resistor. So you measure between these two, one ohms. These two are connected. So that's our common. So the yellow wire goes into the common. Now, because this wire is so thin, we'll give it a bit of substance by putting the insulation in. You don't normally do this, but this is for such a low current, we'll do that. So put that in there, tighten that up. And there's the common done. Do the other common screw up. Now the white one's the wake up. Basically it's a focus. So we've got you can't read it there. So anyway, we've got pin zero and pin one. So one's the wake up. Put them in there. Takes a photo, which number the red one. make it so the wires don't get pulled out when you're working. You put a cable tie around through there. That stops the wires and get pulled out. All right, we'll cut that table tie off. There we are. Our simple sniper is connected to our SLR cable. Alright. Now if we turn it to the trail position. The feeder position only takes one shot and then goes to sleep. We put it to the trail position All right then we plug it into our SLR now it should be A little lights indicating that it's on. Now to prove it's all good, our voltage must be 3.3 volts. If we've got it connected wrong, then it won't be 3.3 volts anymore. So we measure from our common. So turn wake up, that's good. And then to take a photo, that's good. 
So that means that the power's on and it's ready for action. So if it stops blinking after about 35 seconds, Yeah, it's timed out. If we move that now, that'll take a photo. There you go. Works beautifully. Okay. Turn her off. So there's our simple sniper wired up, ready to go, tested and working. Next thing to do is mount it in here. I'll have to go and get the parts.